As the weather warms up and you start spending more time outdoors, you might want to watch out for any unwanted passengers on clothes, shoes, or even in your hair. Experts say after a milder winter, more ticks could be coming out of hibernation this year. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has more. Tick season begins as early as February and reaches its peak around May and June. So right now, it's open season for the blood-sucking bugs. Kate Chapman, an extension entomologist with UNL, says you should start doing tick checks whenever you're spending time outdoors, even in your backyard. She says ticks can spread a variety of diseases, some of which are deadly. Here in Nebraska, we do see cases of Rocky Mountain spotted fever, tularemia, anaplasmosis, um, even alpha-gal syndrome, which makes you allergic to red meat. She says Lyme disease is also spread by ticks, but the black-legged tick, which transmits it, has only been seen in four Nebraska counties so far. There are five common species of ticks found here in Nebraska, three of which are seen in the eastern part of the state. The American dog tick is the one you'll see the most. Chapman says they can be found just about anywhere outside, usually latching onto any clothing or soft material that brushes against plants. Ticks tend to spend more time in kind of the tall grass. Some ticks like the shaded areas, other ticks like the sunny areas. Um, really the best thing you can do is after you spend time outdoors in this tick habitat is to check yourself as soon as you get home. When checking for ticks, start with your legs and feet as they'll often come from the ground up. Chapman says you should also be looking in your hair and really all over your body, just in case. Ticks have saliva that kind of causes a numbing feeling, so a lot of people don't realize that the ticks are on them or feeding on them. And ticks, especially this time of year, can be really small, so a lot of times they go unnoticed. She recommends using bug spray with DEET and wearing long sleeves or pants if you're walking through tall grasses. And if your dog or cat spends time outside, Chapman says you should check their fur for ticks to keep them from getting bit or bringing anything indoors. If you do find a tick attached to you or your pet's skin, you can remove it with tweezers or tools by grabbing the head and mouth area and pulling it out. Experts say to never squeeze the back end of a tick because disease can be pushed back into the bloodstream. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.